I can tell you that through 20 years of research and what you would call some luck, we came across a molecule that in the brain that we're calling a switch that actually controls the loss of the nerve cell connections in the brain. We've, it's known that this molecule is decreased in the Alzheimer's brain, but no one really understood why or what it was doing. What we discovered was that when we force this switch, this molecule, when we force it to be expressed normally again in a brain that's got Alzheimer's, in this case in a mouse brain, we can actually rescue the behavior of this mouse. We can actually rescue its memory. We also show that we can restore its synapses even when amyloid is present in the brain and even when there's inflammation in the brain. This particular molecule, this switch, was able to rescue the synaptic loss. It's literally like a switch on the wall. You just, it, the brain turns it down or turns it up depending on whether it wants to keep synapses or lose them. So if we can understand the various regulatory mechanisms around this switch, we can then also find what are called drug targets ways that we can actually develop drugs that can turn the switch back on and hopefully rescue the brain from synapse loss and ultimately from Alzheimer's. The switch is present in every single nerve cell. So every single nerve cell has this switch. And in some nerve cells, and particularly in the memory center of the brain, over time, one nerve cell at a time, the switch gets turned down. And in that nerve cell, those synapses start to disappear. And ultimately that nerve cell may disappear. It's not an all or none, and it's not in all the nerve cells at once. It's a slow, steady process, which we believe actually accelerates later in the disease. And when I say believe, that's our hypothesis. It means it's our idea. Every day in the lab, we're not only focused on the abstract molecular and cellular mechanism for the sake of it. Every experiment we do is about how do we get closer to cure. Now, I'm not saying we'll necessarily get the cure, because I think that's something that scientists are scared to over-promise but I think that we can contribute in a meaningful way to the worldwide effort to achieve that goal.